Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 9.4 solving triangle problems. 9.4 represents chapter 9, section 4 of the Pearson A level maths, pure maths year 1 textbook. Let's have a look at the key facts of this section. Consider the following triangle. The angles are labelled using capital letters and the sides are labelled using lowercase letters. Area of triangle ABC is given by a half AB sine C. The sine rule is defined as sine A over A equals sine B over B equals sine C over C. We can take the reciprocal of each element of this equation to rewrite it as A over sine A equals B over sine B equals C over sine C. The cosine rule is given by B squared equals A squared plus C squared minus 2AC cos B. Now, ladies and gents, we can make cos B the subject to rewrite the cosine rule as cos b equal a squared plus c squared minus b squared all over 2ac. These are the key facts of 9.4 solving triangle problems. I'll be implementing these key facts within exam style questions. Here is exam style question 1. In triangle ABC, BC is equal to 6 cm, AC is equal to 4.5 cm and angle ABC is equal to 45 degrees. Calculate the two possible values of angle BAC. Let's have a look at the solution to exam style question 1. Nice. I'm going to start by drawing the triangle ABC. So here is my triangle. In the question we are told that BC is equal to 6 cm. AC is equal to 4.5 cm. Angle ABC is equal to 45 degrees. We look at the middle letter B, so the angle B is equal to 45 degrees. Calculate the two possible values of angle BAC. So the middle letter is A, hence angle BAC is the angle A. Let's call it Y. Triangle ABC is ambiguous because it has multiple representations. Alternatively, we could have drawn the vertex for A somewhere over here. Okay. Creating a new triangle ABC, the bigger triangle. A, B, C is your smaller triangle. There are multiple representations. Hence, this is the ambiguous case. And that's why it says calculate the two possible values of angle B, A, C. So the middle letter is A. Hence, this angle is angle A. We can call it X. The two possible values of angle B, A, C will be Y and X. We want to work out Y and X. We know that AC is 4.5. This triangle over here is an isosceles triangle. The base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. So if this is x, this is also x. Now over here we have a straight line. Angles on a straight line add up to 180. So to work out y, we have to simply do 180 degrees, take away x. So x is my first possible solution of angle BAC, tick. y is my second possible solution of angle BAC. To work out y, we do 180 degrees, take away x. Right, let's first start by working out x. To work out x, consider the larger triangle, ABC. So what we have here is sine x divide by 6 is equal to sine 45 divide by 4.5. So now we have to rearrange to make x the subject. So I've got sine x is equal to sine 45 divided by 4.5 multiplied by 6. So x is equal to sine inverse of sine 45 divided by 4.5 multiplied by 6. So if I put this into my calculator, I get 70.5 degrees, two, three significant figures. Now to work out y, we have to do 180 degrees take away x. So y is equal 180 degrees take away 70.5. Hence y is equal to 109.5 degrees. Therefore, the two possible values of angle BAC are 70.5 degrees and 109.5 degrees. That there completes exam style question 1. Moving on to exam style question 2. 
A flower bed is in the shape of a quadrilateral as shown in the diagram. Part A, find the size of angles DAB and BCD. We're going to round our answers to one decimal place. Ladies and gents, I'm going to start by splitting this quadrilateral into two triangles. I've got triangle A and I've got triangle B. So in part A, we want to find the size of angles DAB and BCD. Let's start off with angle DAB. So we're looking at the middle letter, which is A, hence we're trying to calculate this angle over here. Now we are given three sides of a triangle, we're going to use the cosine rule to work out the angle DAB. So cos angle DAB is equal to 4.2 squared plus 2.1 squared minus 5.9 squared divided by two lots of 4.2 multiplied by 2.1. Okay, so now to work out angle DAB, I can simply take cos inverse of my answer, which is this fraction over here. So angle DAB is equal to 136.3 degrees to one decimal place. Let's move on. Now we want to work out the angle BCD. So we look at the middle letter, which is C. Hence, we're trying to work out this angle C. We're going to use a cosine rule again because in this triangle we are given three sides so we can work out the angle using the cosine rule. So cos angle BCD is equal to 7.5 squared plus 3.5 squared take away 5.9 squared all over 2 lots of 7.5 multiplied by 3.5. So now, to work out the angle BCD, I take uh, cos inverse of my answer, which is this fraction here. So angle BCD can be calculated to one decimal place. It is 50.1 degrees to one decimal place. Moving on to part B. Okay, so in part B, it says find the total area of the flower bed. Now to find the total area of the flower bed, we need to work out the area A, then the area B, then add the two areas together, which will be the area of the flower bed. Let's start off with area A. So area A is basically the area of this triangle ABD. So this is given by a half multiplied by 4.2 multiplied by 2.1 sine of the angle A. So that angle A was calculated to be 136.3 degrees. So we have sine of 136.3 degrees. I'm going to put this into my calculator and I'm going to round to two decimal places. If I do this, I get 3.05 meter squared to two decimal places. Now we're going to work out area B the area of the triangle BCD. Again, we have a half AB sine C, so a half multiplied by 3.5 multiplied by 7.5 sine of the angle C. So the angle C was calculated to be 50.1. So we have sine of 50.1 degrees. So if I put this into my calculator and I round off to two decimal places, Nice, I get the following result. 10.07 meter squared to two decimal places. So we have total area of flower bed is equal area A, which is 3.05, plus area B, which is 10.07. This is equal to 13.12 meter squared and to one decimal place it will be 13.1 meter squared solid juice okay so that there completes part b and it also completes exam style question two and this teaching video 9.4 solving triangle problems if you found this teaching video useful please don't forget to subscribe leave a like leave a comment turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time i post a new teaching video